With the Jazz 39 gripping, Sweden has once again become one of the main competitors in the international aviation market. Having relatively modest features and cost compared to its rivals, this aircraft attracts big attention. It is both the best and not the best depending on what the best means. As a weapon detective, we are investigating the Gripen, one of the most sensible aviation program of our times. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we start and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. To be notified of our new video, please click the bell button. The beautiful and capable Jazz 39 has always managed to attract attention since the 1990s. And the Gripen has once again made the Swedish aviation industry a major player in the international market. Yes, not now, again. Sweden's first jet fighter, the Saab 21R, made its first flight as early as 1947. This country also gained the first export success in this area with the Saab 29 Tunan which was introduced in 1951. Austria became the first and only customer of this aircraft. The Saab 29 was followed by the Saab 32 in 1956. It was the Saab 35 Draken that turned the Swedish Saab into a real world-class aviation company. This aircraft was also preferred by Austria, Denmark and Finland besides Sweden. The Saab 37 Wigan was a better fighter than the Draken. However, the special conditions of the First Cold War blocked this aircraft from succeeding in the international market. For more detailed information about the Wigan, please check our Saab 37 video. We were still using a robotic voice in this old video. This may detract from your viewing pleasure. But there, we had explained Sweden's basic criteria for Wigan's design, which is also applicable to the Gripen in more detail. We will briefly talk about these criteria in this video to avoid repeating ourselves. First of all, we should remember that the Gripen is an aircraft designed according to the Soviet threat during the first Cold War years. At that time, Sweden had a big air power inversely proportional to its small population. For this reason, the Swedish Air Force needed a low-cost aircraft both to be acquired and operated. To have large armed forces, Sweden had adopted the conscription system. Therefore, the ground service requirements of the aircraft had to be easy. Sweden was aware that its air bases would be the primary target in a possible Soviet invasion. Therefore, its combat aircraft should have been able to be operated from the highways of the country. At the end of the 1970s, thanks to the fly-by-wire flight control system, it became possible to design aircraft that was not aerodynamically stable and thus more agile. Saab had produced different variants of the Wigan for all-weather interception, ground attack, maritime strike and reconnaissance missions. However, thanks to the advanced avionics technologies, a single model could now perform all these missions. Besides, advances in the field of composites were allowing the production of lighter and more durable aircraft. So, in June 1980, Sweden began to study a new aircraft that would have equal or better payload range characteristics than the Wigan. But it would be smaller than its predecessor. In 1982, the Swedish parliament approved the project. The Jazz 39 Gripen made its first flight on December 9, 1988. The aircraft was introduced in 1996. The Gripen can use 800 meters long and 17 meters wide road strips for takeoff and landing. Its canards, which make the aircraft more agile, are also used as the air brake during short landing. Sweden had abandoned the use of highways for air operations in 2004. Yet, because of the rise of the Second Cold War, the Swedish Air Force has resumed the highway takeoff and landing training since 2015. The Gripen has network centric warfare capability. It can exchange information automatically in real time with other aircraft and ground facilities. 
The RM-12 turbofan engine of the aircraft is a licensed manufactured derivative of the F-404 developed by the General Electric for the FA-18 twin-engine jets. So, it has some differences from the original model, like the increased performance and improved reliability to meet the criteria for a single-engine aircraft. In 2000, the Gripen proved its easy-to-operate future. The aircraft achieved more than 7 hour 30 minute combat readiness time with 12 maintenance man hour per flight hour. The Swedish Air Force requests the 9 hour mean time between failures criterion with 10 maintenance man hour per flight hour. However, it is still a pretty impressive result. After the aircraft returns from a combat mission, a 6 man ground crew consists of 1 technician and 5 conscripts can ready to grip in for another air-to-air -air mission in 10 minutes. This time is 20 minutes for a ground attack mission. The AB and CD variants of the grip in have the PS-05A Pulse Doppler X-Band multi-mode radar. This all-weather radar can detect and identify a target from a range of 120 km. Brazil, Czechia, Hungary, South Africa, Sweden and Thailand are current users of the Gripen. The Jazz 39 has a length of 14.1 meters, a wingspan of 8.4 meters and a height of 4.5 meters. Its wing area is 30 square meters. The empty weight of the aircraft is 6,800 kilograms while its maximum takeoff weight is 14,000 kilograms. One RM-12 turbofan engine provides a maximum speed of Mach 2. The cruise speed of the Gripen is 910 km per hour. It can climb an altitude of 15,250 meters with a rate of climb of 300 meters per second. The aircraft can reach a range of 3,200 km. The JAS 39's combat radius is 800 km. The aircraft has one 27 mm BK 27 internal gun and eight hardpoints. The Gripen can carry the A Darter, AIM 9, AIM 120, Iris T, Meteor, Mica air to air missiles, AGM 65, RBS 15, Taurus air to surface missiles, as well as rocket pods and different types of bombs. The two seat version of the aircraft is 0.66 meters longer than the single seat one. It has reduced internal fuel capacity and no internal gun. Different from the AB variant, the Jazz 39 CD has full color displays, the full authority digital engine control system, helmet mount display capability, a new processor for radar, the IR Otis infrared search and tracking system, in-flight refueling probe, and an enhanced electronic warfare system. This model is NATO compatible. The latest version of the aircraft, Jazz 39 EF, has a maximum takeoff weight of 16,000 kg. Its internal fuel capacity is 40% higher than its predecessors. So, the combat radius is 1,300 km. This version, also known as Gripen NG, is equipped with the RM16 turbofan engine that is derivative of the F414G engine of the FA-18 EF Super Hornets. The new engine provides a 20% higher thrust than the RM-12. So the Jazz 39 EF has super cruise capability. The PS-05A radar of the previous variants is replaced by the new Raven es 5 active electronically scanned array radar. The Jazz 39 EF has 10 hardpoints instead of 8. Saab is also working on the carrier-based, unmanned and electronic warfare variants of the Gripen. The Jazz 39 has not fired its weapons in anger yet, but it was used in real combat missions. In 2011, Sweden stationed eight Gripens to Italy to support the UN-mandated no-fly zone over Libya. The Swedish Jazz 39s conducted over 650 combat missions. Yet, they never participated in an offensive mission and they never had to defend themselves. However, these aircraft provided highly valuable reconnaissance data for NATO. Several times, the Czech Air Force 
tasked its Gripens to protect the airspace of the three NATO member Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, that do not have any fighters. During the first deployment, the Czech JAS-39s intercepted at least eight Russian aircraft. According to Chinese sources, during the joint exercises between China and Thailand, the Chinese J-11 was superior to Thai JAS-39s in dogfights. But during the beyond visual range combat exercises, the Gripen shot down 41 J-11s over a period of four days with a loss of only nine. In later exercises, China used its J-10s. The Chinese sources claim that this aircraft was much more successful against the Gripen. An article on the Aviation Geek Club website is highly interesting. In this article, Stefan England, who introduces himself as a former Swedish Air Force flight engineer, says that the Gripen achieved great success against other aircraft during the red flag exercise. He also claims that the Swedish JAS-39s got 10 air victories without a loss on the first day. But we could not find an official confirmation. Even China confirms its failure against the Gripen. We consider that it is not logical that official Western sources try to hide such important news. Many viewers would argue that compared to the JAS-39, the F-35, Rafale, and Eurofighter Typhoon are more successful in the international market. Although the leading US and European aviation companies are successful, their success is not as bright as in the past. Yet, Sweden's current modest success is an important leap forward compared to the past. In the early 2000s, the F-35, Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon were not ready. Also, everybody knew that they would be remarkably costly. The second-hand F-16s and Mirage 2000s in use were old. But Sweden could provide new-built aircraft at a good price to Czech Republic and Hungary. So the Gripen won. The South African Air Force had no notable rival in the area. It did not need extremely, superbly, marvelously high-tech and absurdly expensive fighters. So the Gripen won. Thailand and Brazil wanted to replace their F-5s, which were inexpensive, simple but capable aircraft. They were seeking the same type of fighter. F-35, Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon didn't match the criteria and the Gripen won. Since the beginning, the Gripen and its producer Saab have been more user-friendly. The company can configure many subsystems of the aircraft depending on the customer's demands. Thanks to this flexible design, the new technologies can be adapted to the Gripen easily. Saab provides full access for the Gripen's source code and technical documentation to its customers, allowing for upgrades and new equipment to be independently integrated. Also, the company is highly open to domestic manufacturing opportunities and technology transfer. Some features of the Gripen are not high like the F-35, Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon. But the real question is, do we really need these features? There is often a difference between the best and the best solution. Of course a Ferrari is better than a passenger car. Yet, it does not answer the needs of a family or a taxi driver. The T-72 was not superior to the T-64. It was a downgraded version of its predecessor. But the USSR had needed a simpler tank. The F-14 and F-15 were the best. But after a while, the USA realized the necessity of a simple and low-cost aircraft. So, the legendary F-16 was born. Today, the US Air Force began to seek a new aircraft that is simpler than the Lightning II. Even the French and British pilots admit many times that they miss the good old Jaguar. Sometimes the high technology becomes a burden rather than a blessing. The JAS-39 is not a technology demonstrator that is the result of competition between the two superpowers or world-class aviation companies. The Gripen was designed to answer real needs. This low-cost aircraft can use all state-of-art weaponry used by other extremely, superbly, marvelously high-tech competitors. 
being technologically not the best makes the Jazz 39 the best. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. To be notified of our new videos, please click the bell button.